Hey everyone, Niall Doherty here from $50.blogs.net. Today I'll be showing you how to restore your WordPress website from a backup. So this will be helpful to you if your site ever gets hacked or your server crashes and you lose all your files and data or if either of those things become corrupt. So for demo purposes, I'll be wiping out everything on the $50.blogs demo site which currently looks like this. You may remember in the last screencast I showed you how to back up your WordPress site using a plugin called WordPress Backup to Dropbox and it's via just such a backup that I'll be restoring this demo site in a few minutes. A uh, word of warning though, do not copy what I'm about to do if you don't have a full backup of your own site already. Okay. Now a couple of things you will need to do later on in this demo, I'm going to give you a heads up now so it's not a surprise because uh, this does get quite technical. First, you'll need to use FTP to upload files to your server. And second, you'll need to use PHP My Admin to restore your database. Okay, so those two things you will need to do. All right, now to simulate a worst case scenario, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the website files and wipe the database for this demo.50.blogs.net site. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that, and now you can see that when I try to refresh the page, the homepage of the website, we're just going to get a blank index of page with just a couple of files left in there. Now we're going to go and grab our backup from Dropbox. So once logged into your Dropbox account, navigate to your site's the, the site backup directory. In my case, it's this one right here. Now I'm going to select all in there. And then from the more drop down, I want to select download items. And that should download for me. It is actually downloading, but it's off the screen here. But that's basically going to download to my desktop. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. Right, let's head on over to the desktop. And now you can see that I've got the zip file downloaded right there. And of course, I want to extract it. So let's extract or unarchive that and now you'll see that this gives me all the files of my site as per the last time the automatic backup ran. For me that's less than a week ago but you might have chosen to do automatic backups every day. Okay now remember how I said in the last video that there are two parts to WordPress backup. First you have the database and then you have your site files so we need to restore both of those. Uh, we're going to restore the database first here. Now to do this, we need something. We need access rather to something called PHP My Admin. You can normally access PHP My Admin via your web host control panel, but I'm going to show you how you can access it another way. And what we need to do first is to track down one of these files we just extracted to the desktop, and it's in this root folder right here, and it's called wpconfig.php. There it is, right there. And now I'll open that up in a text editor. Yes, we do want to open it. Okay, now in here it tells me three different important pieces of information. The first piece of information we need is the MySQL host name, which is right here. And yours, of course, will be a different value to mine. Uh, but let's copy that URL and we're going to try and open it up in a browser. So let me open a new tab paste in that there. I'm going to hit return. Right, so it's asking me for a username and password. Now those credentials are also stored in that wp-config.php file. So let's go back there. There are the other two important pieces of information that I alluded to earlier. So let's grab those and use them to log into PHP my admin. There's the username copy and paste the password and log in. Okay, nice one, we're in. Now, if you're not familiar with PHP MyAdmin, try not to get overwhelmed here. You can safely ignore most of what's in front of you. All we're really interested in is a database listed over here on the left-hand side. And in this case, it's called demo underscore $50 blogs underscore net. And notice that the name of the database corresponds to another variable listed in that wp-config file, 
and that's the DB name right here. Okay, so back to PHP my admin, and now we're going to click on that database, and it will show us uh, the tables in there. Now I went in and wiped this database earlier, but in reality your database might not have been so cleanly wiped out. It may have been corrupted instead or something like that. And if that's the case, you'll need to delete all the tables in the database before we go any further because we want a blank slate for the restore. Now I left behind two tables in the database so I can show you how to delete them. So these are your tables. All you need to do is check the boxes alongside and then select drop from this pull down menu right here. Now we just need to confirm that instruction and we should be left with an empty database. Perfect, no tables found in database. Now, we need to restore the data from our backup. And the file that actually holds all our data was downloaded along with everything else from Dropbox earlier. So let's go take a look at that. Uh, we can find it in wp-content slash backups. And it would be this .sql file right there. Now there's one bit of prep work uh, we need to do before we import this SQL file via phpMyAdmin. Uh, we want to open it up in a text editor. By the way, I'm using Text Wrangler. This is Text Wrangler here, the text editor I'm using, but you could also use Notepad or Dreamweaver or something like that. Okay, and once it's open, we want to delete the line near the top that begins with Create Database. So there it is right there. We want to delete that out of there just like so. Why do we want to delete that line? Because the database itself already exists in PHP MyAdmin, um, so we don't need to create it again. If we try, we'll just get an error. Okay, so now we're going to save that, that SQL file and we'll go back to PHP MyAdmin. And in here, we want to click on the Import tab up at the top of the page and then browse to find the SQL file uh, that we just edited. So on the desktop, Go to WP content backups.sql. We're going to open and then click on go right there. Now, depending on the size of your database, it may take a few minutes for that to import. Uh, small database that I have for my demo site, so it's not hasn't taking hasn't taken rather that long. Uh, and once it's done, it should give you a little success message up at the top here, and you'll also see your tables listed down along the left hand side. And that's our database fully restored. Okay, so on to the restoring the second part of our backup, which is the files themselves. Now, thanks to that Dropbox download earlier, we have a copy of all our site files uh, stored locally right there on our computer. And now we're going to upload them to the server, to our web hosts server via FTP. Now, my FTP client of choice is FileZilla you can see right here, uh, but you could also use something like Transmit or Dreamweaver. And in FileZilla, I basically want to navigate on the left side to my desktop, and I'm already there. And I want to open up the directory. Actually, I need to refresh. There we go. So I need to open up the directory containing all the site files. Perfect. Now, meanwhile, on the right side, I want to be connected to the server where all the site files should live, okay, over on this side here. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail here about FTP, but to connect to your server, you'll need your host name, uh, which is normally the site URL, so in this case, demo.50.blogs.net. You need your username and a password. And if you don't know what those credentials are, you can usually get them from your web host, or often they'll have sent them to you in an email when you first set up your account. Okay, so the first thing to do here is to make sure that there are no files left on the server over on this side. Uh, so just like with the database, we want a clean slate before we restore anything. So you'll see here I've left a couple of files just to demonstrate, and I'm going to delete them just like that. Will you delete the files? Absolutely. Okay, so now this is blank. I'm going to highlight everything over here on the left side in FileZilla, so everything on my computer, uh, or rather in the folder that we want to upload. And then I'm going to select Upload. Now this will take a few minutes because there are a lot of files in WordPress. 
Okay, I've skipped ahead and now all the files are uploaded to the server for us just as they were before the site got wiped. So we've restored the database and we've restored the site files. So now let's take a look at what happens when we try to view the home page. You remember it was like this first before. Let's refresh. And hey presto, we're back in business. Excellent. Uh, let's take a look at the blog section of the site. All right, that looks good. And let's make sure we can still log in and view the dashboard. Yes, we can, perfect. Okay, so now there was a, quite a lot to that whole process. So let me know if you have any questions on what was covered. And of course, check back next week for another free video tutorial helping you get to grips with WordPress. And as always, you can sign up for free email updates uh, right here in the sidebar at $50blogs.net slash blog.